In today's video, I show you how to create a mega menu like this in under five minutes. Instead of using a default menu with limited page options like this, you can create a mega menu for your website that includes a new collection tab highlighting all your new products, a categories tab that offers easy access to different product pages, and an about us tab that has multiple blogs and a video about your story. This makes it super easy for your users to see everything available on your site and quickly navigate to the product or category they're interested in. We'll only be using a free plugin to create the mega menu and edit it in Elementor. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is install a free plugin called Elements Kit from the WordPress plugins library. Once done, go to the plugin dashboard, click on modules and enable the mega menu option from here. Now we can create different tabs for your header that can expand with a drop down. Okay, so go to the appearance tab and click on menu. And as you can see, these are the tabs in my menu. So let's customize the categories tab first. And to do that, hover over it and click on the mega menu option. Now enable the mega menu option and click on this edit mega menu button. Once you do that, you'll be redirected to this page where you can add the different elements to your categories drop down. So I'll just click here and add a four column container section like this and change the height to 70 VH. Now I'll change the background color to white from the style tab. All right, let's create the first category tab. And for that, I'll add an image, a heading and a list of different products related to that category. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because Okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. So let's drag an image widget here and change the image like this. Okay, now let's add the category name. To do that, I'll add the heading widget here and change the text to blazers. I'll quickly make some style changes and once done, it should look like this. I've kept it simple and just use the pop-ins type font, but you can customize it according to your preferences. Now, we need to add different products for the category and I'll be using the icon box widget for it. So, I'll go here and add it like this. Remove the text description from here, edit the heading and change the icon to this filled circle. Now let's change the icon position to the left and align it to the middle. I'll also decrease the spacing from here, change the color and decrease the icon size using this slider. All right, let's make some style changes, transform effects and once you're done changing the text content, it should look like this. Now all we need to do is duplicate this entire container a few more times from here and change the content. Once done, let's add the link to our products. So just click here and add the URL to your product to this link box and you're done. Now click on update, close the editor, save the menu and your category dropdown is ready to use. All right, let's also create another dropdown tab for our about us section. So just click here and we'll be back in the editor. I'll just use this tab to showcase some blogs and a video for our story. To do that, I'll add a three column container like this, which will serve as a base for the entire dropdown. Like before, I'll add an image here, which will be the featured image for our blog. Then we'll add our heading, which will be a blog title and then a text editor widget for the blog description. Once that's done, I'll also add a read more button here and style it to match our design. You can also add the blog link to this button. So if someone clicks on the button, they'll be redirected to the main blog. Okay, so our first blog section is done. Let's duplicate it one more time, change the content. And this is what it looks like. Finally, use this third container for the video that will work for our story section. So I'll just go to the style tab, click on background and add the video link here. You can use any video here. Just make sure to enable this play on mobile option. So it works on mobile devices too. Finally, 
I'll add some border radius and duplicate this button. Then add it over to the video here. After you're done customizing everything, the About Us dropdown should look like this. Let's just update and save the menu quickly. And done. All right, let's check our mega menu in action. I've also created a simple new collection dropdown with multiple products that we recently added. Then we have the category dropdown with all the different product lists. And the About Us dropdown has the blogs and video that we added earlier. Finally, as you can see, the product lists work as they are supposed to. I can click here and I'll be redirected to that specific product page. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.